In this video, we're going to be creating wallpaper for SketchUp. Trench Brady here from 3D Live Design, where we talk 3D for theater, events, exhibits, and meetings. If you're new here, make sure you click that subscribe button. All links mentioned in this video are in the description below. This is the first in a three video series. The next two will be based on it, creating aged wallpaper and distressed wallpaper. But now, let's do the new wallpaper. Wallpaper is one of the most useful decorative elements when a designer is trying to establish a setting. Whether painted, printed, or actual wallpaper, it can indicate time, location, economic status, personal taste, history, and so much more. In this example, I'll be creating a damask wallpaper. Try to get the highest resolution image you can. Right click the image and save the file. It's easier to create the wallpaper in its own file before importing it into the model you'll be working on. Open up SketchUp and create a blank wall. From the materials panel, fill the wall with any color. In the texture area, check the use texture image and import the wallpaper file you saved earlier. Scale the wallpaper. In this case, I scaled it to 28 inches by 28 inches for the repeat. You can see that the saved image file has edges that were white, creating unsightly white stripes in the wallpaper repeat. Select the surface. Go into the Fill Editor in the Materials section, then the Texture section. Click Edit Texture Image in External Editor. In this case, I use Photo Paint to edit the image file. This will launch the photo program you have associated with SketchUp. Make an object of the image, separating it from the background. Move the image to one quarter of the space. It doesn't need to be exact. Make a duplicate of the image and move it to the right. Line it up with the original. Duplicate these two sections and bring them down in line with the top section. Now you can see the white line that was apparent in the wallpaper repeat, as well as a subtle horizontal line. Combine the four images with the background. Clone sections of the area to eliminate the white seam. I also use the eyedropper tool to paint areas and the blend brush to disguise seams. When finished, you should have an image like this. This creates a new seamless wallpaper where the seams are exact matches. Save the wallpaper under a new name. Go back to SketchUp, open the materials window and go back to the texture section with the original wallpaper fill selected. Click on the Browse for Image File icon. Select the new wallpaper sample you created. The seams are gone. Open your stage design with your blank wall ready to wallpaper. Go to your Materials Editor and select Create New Material. Select your corrected wallpaper sample. Scale to 2 foot by 2 foot sections and fill the wall with the paper. Repeat on other walls as needed. Occasionally the wallpaper will stretch out of shape. Manually go back in and refit it to approximate size. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please leave a comment and I'll see you in the next one.